starting. Did you make, did you guys make that one too? Yeah, we had some people make this rotary brake, but it's, um, it's a little hard to get started, but there is a, there is a thing here to loosen. Uh, okay, get this thing here to loosen. Yeah. And then it goes much easier. And you're breaking all the, the straw off. The, you're breaking the straw so you can get at the fiber inside. And there's the fiber inside. But you've got all this broken straw that needs to get off so you can get the fiber. board and you put it on a board or your leg. We're sketching. Okay, we're sketching. Getting all the the I'm gonna say bark, but I don't mean that. Straw. It's called boom. Getting all the boom out. Oh. So these are hackles, and after the, the straw is broken off, this is what separates the fiber until you get a finer and finer fiber. So that's, and then you turn it over to the other side. Sound of that old engine in the background. <laughs> old steam engine is coming right up here. And then you do finer, finer, and finer until you get fiber to spin with. This is long line fiber. So what I'm doing is spinning the flax fiber into linen and this is the place where it changes its name from flax to linen thread. What I'm spinning right now is tow which is sort of the B grade or the second um, going of uh, flax to linen. So when I, if I unwrap my towel here you'll see that <clears throat> this stuff is very fuzzy it's what's been carded after the line linen has been taken out. So we're left with shorter bits. If you can get this over here. This is, this is the line linen on a distaff. So this is going to make a much finer quality linen product because it has a very long staple. Mine is, is much shorter, it's only this long. So although it's very usable, it's, um, it, I have to put much more of a spin in it and what I'm ultimately going to do is um, this is going to be for plying to use in a weaving project. I'm going to spin it, ply it, scour it and then dye it. So that's what I'm up to here. I keep it wrapped in a tea towel so that the fibers don't get more matted and tangled than they already are and it's easier to spin also because linen loves being wet it absorbs moisture really easily and uh, I don't want I want I don't want that to happen so it keeps it cleaner and the only water that I'm using is when I'm spinning it um, flax has an actual natural pectin 
in it. And by wetting your fingers when you're spinning it, it helps all the stray hairs kind of glue together. And this is what is scoured out later on after it's spun with borax. 